Good evening, fans. Welcome to Golden Lion Basketball. It's senior night here at H.O. Clemens Arena for UAPB as they start their seniors here this evening against Jackson State in the big ball game. It's going to be Terrell Kennedy, Cal Jones, Lazabian Jackson, Mitchell Anderson, and Demetrius Smith getting the start tonight as they are the The starting five here on senior night, and with that, we are underway. UAPB in their home golds, and Jackson State in their road navy blues. UAPB with the opening possession, and let's see, last touch by Jackson State on a pass. They're on the right side of the court, but like it was off of Philip Williams of Jackson State. So we are underway. UAPB comes in 13 and three, one of their better seasons in conference play. Right now in third place, still a half game behind Texas Southern and one game behind Southern. So a log jam atop of the standings. Here's Mitch Anderson, the nice drive, and he misses the lay-in right at the bucket. It lipped out on him, had a, a good look at it, but it didn't go down. Phillip Williams will run the point. He's a senior himself out of Gary, Indiana. Top of the key, John Lewis. Now Lewis will set it up for Jackson State with 15 on the shot clock. They work it right side to Christian Williams. Williams back to Philip Williams. Down low, deflected off of Kennedy. They were looking for Willis Reedus, the 6'6", 250 junior from Morton, Mississippi, down low. Six on the shot clock. Jackson State trying to inbound it. No score here early on. Nearly one minute into action. Williams step back for three is no good. The rebound, Reedus tipped it out and throws it away. So the Golden Lions will get it back. 19.03 to go, first half just underway, no score. UAPB looking to get on the scoreboard. Here's Kyle Jones, works it right side of the floor. Tough pass to Kennedy, it's on the floor and it's taken away by Reedus. They'll push it ahead. Lewis has it. Out high, close to midcourt. Sets up the offense, UAPB in their traditional zone defense here. Lewis looking right side. Kelsey Howard, he'll take the three, open look, knocks it down. Three nothing, Jackson State, the assist by John Lewis and Kelsey Howard, the open three-point basket. Mitch Anderson underneath, kicks it out. Demetrius Smith, the drive and a whistle and a foul. And he's gonna get called for the charge. 18.06 to go, first half, three nothing, Jackson State with Jones and Smith starting tonight as on senior night, usually coming off the bench. Lewis, nice pass to Reedus, turn around 12 footer in the lane is good on the roll. Five nothing Jackson State. Jackson beat UAPB down in Jackson. Golden Lions looking to return the favor. Jones to Kennedy on the trap. Kennedy took a little bump, shot up, in and out, no good. He stays with it, he misses an easy second chance. He goes up for the third chance, he missed it. And the fourth chance, he finally gets it to go. If you don't first succeed, try, try again. That's exactly what he did. Four chances at it. He just padding his rebound stats, that's all. 5-2 the score as Kelsey Howard again knocks in another three as he was open this time in the left corner. So he's hot early with two triples. It's eight to two. There's going to be a foul as Mitch Anderson was driving towards the lane. Reach in. First team foul on Jackson State. Nearly three minutes in here. They lead eight to two. Devon Jones, 6'8", 230, senior from Detroit. Checking in here for Jackson. Here's Lasabian Jackson. Good defense there by Lewis, needs some help. Trying to get to Smith who is cutting to the basket. It's knocked out of bounds by Jackson State. 23 on the shot clock. The 
Xavier Jackson to Kennedy on the left baseline. Kennedy turns, spins, goes up with a tough one-hander. No good, but how about Mitch Anderson? Grabbed the rebound and threw it down in a reverse dunk. That takes some athletic ability, folks. Wow, what an amazing dunk by Mitch Anderson. Are you kidding me on that? That's some serious, serious flight skills. They try the lob on the other end. Kelsey Howard couldn't handle it. UAPB comes back on the other end. In the lane, Kennedy is fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Unbelievable athletic ability by Mitch Anderson. He's freakish like that. He can do some crazy stuff in the air. He's just a highlight waiting to happen. My goodness. That was awesome. First shot by Kennedy is good. Jeff Stubbs coming in, 6'1", 165, junior out of Jackson, Mississippi. Kennedy hits the next, eight to six, two point game. Sixteen oh five to go. Down low, turn around, no good by Jones. UAPB clears the rebound, they'll push it ahead, looking to tire, take the lead. Here's Jackson to Kyle Jones. Jones getting trapped, needs some help. Xavier Jackson handles the pass. The drive, the kick out, Mitch Anderson pull up, 15 footer is short. Demetrius Smith down low, got the rebound, looked like he got fouled, no call, and turns it over. Mm. The little floater off the glass, no good by Christian Williams. He gets it back and gets it blocked out of bounds by Kennedy, and that's going to lead us to our first media timeout. 15-27 to play, first half, 8-6. Jackson State up by two at the first media break. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Now it's time for This Week in Bad Stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 260. That's how many runs were walked in with the bases loaded last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's the number of kids who witness bullying. Three out of four. Not a good stat. No, it's not, but that can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. You can visit stopbullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at stopbullying.gov. Jackson will inbound the basketball. Up by two. And almost a steal by Jones there. Lewis will set it up. Right side back to Lewis. Looking down low to Jones, nothing there. Kelsey Howard to take the three and he hits again. He is hot early. Three three-point baskets already for Kelsey Howard. Oh, look out. Showtime again, Mitch Anderson. He smashes one down with one hand and UAPB cuts it to 11 to eight. Mitch Anderson on the highlight reel early. Here on senior night, his mom here tonight. Lewis, top of the key, Stubbs, left side to Williams. Back to Stubbs, he'll take the three and hits, and Jackson State is on fire from downtown early. That's their fourth three-point basket, three by Kelsey Howard, one by Stubbs, and it's 14 to eight. Jackson State by six. Jones on the kick out to Jackson. Kennedy on the left elbow here. Turn, spins, a little fadeaway, no good. Demetrius Smith crashes for the board, but can't handle it. 
Jackson State pushes it ahead. Now they'll set it up top of the key to Lewis. Jackson State leading by six, their largest lead here, 14 to eight. Three in the corner, an air ball, that's a walk. That is a travel if I've ever seen one, and he's, he's had his hands up in there like, who, me? Oh yeah, you. 13.48 to play, Mitch Anderson and Demetrius Smith are out. Davon Haynes and Hammond are in the game now. Also Broughton in the game. Kyle Jones out, so this is a typical starting lineup here. They come in 13.40 to play. Here's Jackson. Top of the key now. Jackson, step back, one of the three, right side to Hammond. Davon Haynes, gonna call a travel on Kennedy. 13-27 to play, 14-8, Jackson State up by six. They've hit four three-point baskets already. Come out smoking from deep. Left side, and another three. This time it's going to be short in the rebound by Haynes. That was Kelsey Howard again. Jackson, pull up left side for three, no good. Offensive rebound is to Broughton. Back to Jackson, spots up for three again. This time he hits, yes sir. UAPB kept it alive with the offensive board and it resulted in a three-point basket, 14-11. Jackson State leading by three. 12.40 to play, first half. Jackson comes out with some pressure. Inside to Coleman, now back out, they'll set it up. Williams, Williams puts it on the floor, trying to go behind his back, but that's not gonna work with Hammond, he is cat quick. Here's Stubbs, pull up 17 footer is no good. And the offensive rebound is gonna to come to Kelsey Howard and then he misses a shot partially blocked, possibly by Broughton there. UAPB gets it back, coming the other way. Hammond is gonna be tripped on the way to the basket. 12-14 to play. It's gonna be on Jeff Stubbs. That's his first team foul, number three. Hammond will be shooting. They said he was in the act of shooting, so he'll get a couple of free throws. First one is good for Hammond. He'll have one more coming up. And Hammond's got both of them. 14-13. A one point lead for Jackson State as UAPB comes back with five unanswered themselves. Here's Phillip Williams now top of the key to Lewis. Stubbs on the left wing, cross court pass and turns it over. Bad pass by Stubbs there and Phillip Williams couldn't handle it. Out of bounds gonna be UAPB ball down by one, 14 to 13. We'll step aside, media timeout, 11.56 remaining. First half, 14-13, Jackson State by one. All right, give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? <laughs> to be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Millions of people are affected by disaster in America. And we're right there, providing food. With more than 200 food banks, reaching communities all across America. Donate now for immediate relief and long-term recovery. Every dollar helps provide food for disaster victims. Help now at feedingamerica.org.
as we come back here, take a look at Mitch Anderson and his freakish athleticism on this Terrell Kennedy miss. Kennedy drove the baseline and as he turned to the basket, he overshot it just a little bit there off the bounce and then look at Mitch Anderson flying high, reverse follow-up dunk. Are you kidding me? That is insane. 14-13, UAPB with the ball. Down by one. And that pass is deflected. That's going to be UAPB ball. It got knocked all the way out of bounds on the other end. UAPB 4 of 11, 36% from the field. 5 of 14 for Jackson. They've cooled off a bit to 36%, but they're 4 of 7 from downtown, including Kelsey Howard, 3 of 4 from three-point range. He leads all scores with nine early on here. UAPB out rebounding Jackson nine to four early on as well inside. Nice look, and easy two. Hammond to Kennedy. A beautiful look and an easy two down low. 15 14, UAPB with their first lead of the game. Six points now to lead the way for UAPB by Terrell Kennedy here on senior night out of Jackson, Mississippi. It's only fitting that he's playing Jackson State. And nice hands again. Picked his pocket. Reed us the turnover, the steal by Hammond. Lazavian Jackson spots up for three. It's short, no good, and that's going to be a foul on Broughton rooting out his man down low there. That'll be Daniels first, team foul number two. Stubbs. Right side, now Reedus kicks it back out to Stubbs, mishandled it, now it pulls up, 15-footer, it's too strong, no good. Haynes up high for the rebound for Pine Bluff. Here's Hammond, he'll push it ahead. In the lane, the kick out, Lazabian Jackson spots up for three, too strong, lipped out on him, no good. Stubbs in transition, and that's gonna be a turnover. They missed that. Nice effort to Hammond for three. In and out, no good. That would have been something special right there. Great effort by Lazavian Jackson to save it, but I thought it should have been a backcourt on Jackson State. Approaching 10 minutes to play. 15-14, Golden Lions over Jackson State by one. Down low, Reedus, little 10-footer, one-handed in the lane is good. Jackson State regaining the lead by one, 16 to 15. Reedus now with four. Good ball movement. The three and an air ball, however, by Hammond. Boy, he missed that one badly. Had a wide open look too. Sometimes those are the hardest ones. So Hammond. Sixteen fifteen, UAPB down one. Jackson State with the ball. Nine twenty seven and counting. First half. Lewis, senior. He's out of Jackson. He's running the point. Williams, Christian Williams, top of the key here. Comes out high, puts it on the floor. Reedus on the little pick and pop. He gets the roll, and now it comes off the rim. Looks like it was, looked like it was going to drop, and then it didn't go. UAPB's got it. Here's Hammond. Anderson, pull up three. Rims out, no good. Another good look, but it just didn't go down. In transition, underneath, and a block shot by Kennedy, but getting it right back is Kelsey Howard, and he sticks it up and in. Howard. He's got 11 here in the first half. 18-15, Jackson State by three. And the kick out and a three by Lazavian. Jackson is good. His second triple of the game. He's got six now. And we're tied at 18. Reedus the lob. And the takeaway by Anderson. And let's see, there's going to be a foul on Sidney Coleman as they tried the little lob down low, but 
Didn't work. Kennedy kicks it out. Mitch Anderson rise and fire for three. Yes, sir. Nothing but nets. Mitch Anderson drills the triple. He's got seven here in the first half. 21-18 UAPB with back-to-back three-point baskets to take a three-point lead. 7.50 to go before halftime. Rita, strong drive and get that out of here. Mitch Anderson. Return to sender, throwing it out of bounds with a big block shot. We'll step aside. Hey, my name's Katie and I'm in the ninth grade. I'm an A average student and I'm an athlete working towards a scholarship. And everybody tells me how much potential I have. But I just wish someone would tell me where my next meal is coming from. Katie, how'd I do? Do you have to be so serious? Well, I mean, I did like a crazy dance in a movie if you want me to like, you know, do a little. No. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. 7.45 remaining before halftime, 21-18. Had another look at that block shot. Mitch Anderson got the credit from me, but it looked like it was Daniel Broughton who got the bulk of that block shot, kind of a tandem block, if you will, between Broughton and Anderson. Broughton got the most leather, but could have went either way. That's going to be a foul on Hammond. A delayed call, but it was probably the right call on the inbound. 21-18, UAPB by three. They're shooting seven of 19 from the floor. That's 37%. Three of nine from three-point range, 33%. Four of four from the foul line. Here's another look at that block shot here. Is it was Daniel Broughton, and then Anderson kind of simultaneously looked like he got a piece of it as well, but good work by our crew on that. Seven of 20 for Jackson State, 35%. They're four of seven from three-point range, and there's another three, make it four of eight as they miss that one. UAPB is going to get it coming back the other way up by three. There's a three in the corner and it is no good by Kennedy. He was short on it. Rebound Jackson State down by three coming the other way. Seven minutes to go before halftime. Three point shot top of the key is good. Boy, you talk about getting a roll. It just deadened on the front of the rim and laid up softly and went through the basket. So Lewis hits the three and tied up at 21. Now a steal by Phillip Williams. Look up, another steal by the Golden Lions. Hammond pull up jumper and from 15 is good. 23-21, Hammond hits the jumper. He's got four in the first half. Golden Lions up by two. Jackson State's been red hot of late. Here's Lewis. Got Christian Williams and Phillip Williams. Strong drive, Kelsey Howard gets it to go and one. Well, he's having a great first half, 13 now, and a chance for a three-point play. For Kelsey Howard, a 6'4", 190 sophomore from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Ties it up at 23. Second foul on Daniel Broughton. Free throw by Howard is good. He gets the roll. Well, he's loving these soft rims here at UAPB right now. Got 14 first half points. That puts Jackson State up by one. He's got 14 of their 24. The kick out to Anderson in the corner. Jackson thought about the three. Nowhere to go with it. Back out to Kennedy in the corner. Hammond got it taken away. Put it on the floor there and Christian Williams got a piece of it. Here's Williams in transition, gets it thrown 
get that out of here. In transition, look out. Mitch Anderson, the throwdown. The lob and the finish, and Mitch Anderson is putting on an aerial assault. <laughs> He's having a great first half. He's got nine and already three big dunks here on senior night for Mitch Anderson. It's either Anderson or Davon Haynes. Well, they are some kind of tandem in the air. Two of the best in the conference in the country for that matter. 25-24 UAPB by one, and now Jackson State by two, a three-point basket as the three-point barrage continues for Jackson State. Christian Williams hits that one. Jackson State now, they already have got six threes here in the first half, and that's a turnover, and threw it right to Jeff Stubbs, who was right at the scores table. Here's another look at the alley-oop dunk by Anderson. That's just too easy. Great lob there, and then the finish by Mitch. 4.50 to play, 27-25, Jackson State by two. It's been a pretty fun first half here. And that's a nice block by Terrell Kennedy. That was Terrell Taylor, 6'5", sophomore guard with the shot. Rise and fire, Mitch Anderson short on the three. Stubbs right side to Lewis. In the corner, Christian Williams missed the three, got his own rebound and lays it up and in. Boy, that's just a, that's a, a missed block out is what that is. Boy, you hate to see that. You miss a three, gets his own rebound and goes all the way to the rim. 27, let's see, it should be 20, 29, 25, I believe. Well, the scoreboard's still got 27-25. Could be wrong. Kennedy, the kick out. Hammond puts it on the floor. Jackson spots up for three. Yes, sir. His third three, and he's hot. Got three points are raining for both teams. He's got nine now on three three-point baskets. Davon Haynes set to check in. 29-28 now the score officially. And we're going to have a media timeout here. 3.56 to play before halftime. 29-28, Jackson State over UAPB by one. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping. Arm weakness. Speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. 3.56 to go before halftime. UAPB and Jackson State got a one-point game. I love to see Haynes and Anderson in the game at the same time. You're almost guaranteed pure entertainment value with those two guys in there. 10 of 24 for UAPB, 42%. 4 of 12 from downtown, 4 of 4 from the foul line. Jackson State 11 of 28, 39%. 6 of 11 from downtown, 54%. 1 of 1 from the foul line. UAPB being out-rebounded by 115 to 14 by Jackson. Nine points apiece for Jackson, Lazavian Jackson and Mitchell Anderson. The alley-oop didn't work for Jackson State on the inbound. Here's Mitch Anderson. Lazavian Jackson is going to be fouled by Jeff Stubbs out high on the right wing. In case you're wondering, no relation. I'm sure the production room has been waiting on me to say that the whole first half. <laughs> Three and a half to play. 
Nice drive and basket there by Marcel Mosley. Nice take. UAPB back on top, 30 to 29. Stubbs, top of the key, left side. Now he gets it back. Tipped and stolen. Good hands by Haynes. Look out. Mosley. Davon Haynes, the throw down. And the student section goes bananas. <laughs> In transition, I'm telling you, Anderson and Haynes can flat out put on a show, folks. It's a treat. Almost a steal there. 32-29. Three-point lead for UAPB. Step back, Kelsey Howard for three, no good. Jackson for rebound. Haynes wants another one. This time he kind of got pinned on the rim a little bit as that was a long alley-oop lob there from almost mid-court. If he had thrown that one down, I may have taken my headset off and walk away. That would have been <laughs> unbelievable. Timeout called by Coach Tavester Anderson of Jackson State. He wants to slow things down a little bit. 32-29. 2.32 to go. Let's take another look at it here. Haynes, oh, he just went right over the top and threw it down with one hand. That's special. Golden Lions back up by three. He just took it right away from that young man. That was a sweet, sweet play. Jackson State will impound it. Williams, left side to Howard, top of the key to Christian Williams. Good defense here by UAPB. Stubbs, he's got it right side, thought about the shot. Wants to go one on one here. Step back jumper for Stubbs is no good. Offensive rebound, Phillip Williams kicks it out to Christian Williams. Left side to Howard. Leading scorer so far with 14 is Kelsey Howard. He's got four three-point baskets, or three, check that, three three-point baskets. 15 on the shot clock, 145 on the game clock. Three-point shot, Christian Williams rims out, no good. Mosley will slow it down, bring it up after he gets an earful from Coach Ivory. <laughs> down on the block, Davon Haynes kicks it out and picked off. Pass was deflected, stolen away. Here's Christian Williams in transition. His shot is good in the lane. Nice little leaner there. Used his body to get a little separation and got it to go from about eight feet out. 32-31. Christian Williams now with seven first half points. Just over a minute to play before halftime. Turning, spinning, jumper no good by Mosley. Offensive rebound by Haynes. He wants to take his man off the glass. No good. Whistle and a foul is called, and Haynes will shoot two. Tevin Hammond set to check in for UAPB. With one minute left before halftime. Been an entertaining first half here. Two most exciting plays, really, in basketball, the three-point shot and the slam dunk, and we've seen plenty of both here in the first half. A total of 10 threes between the teams, and Mitch Anderson has three thunderous dunks, and Davon Haynes has a big-time alley-oop one-handed jam as well. So we've seen a little bit of everything in the first half. First shot is good by Haynes. He has one more coming up. And it rims out on the second. So 33-31 UAPB by two. Under a minute to play now in the first half. Taking their time, Jackson State. Top of the key. Now down low, stolen away. Good hands there. In transition, Hammond goes all the way. Missed it, but there for the tip back is the senior from Jackson, Terrell Kennedy. Boy, he just... A valuable player. He can do so many things to help your team. Great heads up play. Started the break with the steal. Yeah. 
Top of the key. Now Philip Williams, right side. Lewis, and nearly stolen. Good hands again. Four seconds left before halftime. Lewis is going to have to heave it up. It strips. And UAPB, that's going to end the first half as they come up with a steal there. An exciting, entertaining first half it was. 35-31, UAPB leads Jackson State by four at the half. Quiet, please. Wait a sec. I'll take one. Oh, yeah. All right. All good. Take care. Way to go. Nice. Bring it on. Gotcha. I'm here for you. Oh, no. Please, please, please. I'm waiting. Interesting. Not buying it. Not fair. That's it. This conversation is over. Oh, brother. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. Welcome back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. We are set for the second half here. Tim Stubbs, courtside. Glad to be with you here this evening for this senior night for UAPB basketball, taking on Jackson State. 35-31 is the score at halftime here. Jackson will inbound the basketball as we resume play here in just a moment. And for UAPB, it will be their, not the original starting five tonight, but the original starting five that's been for the majority of the season. But Christian Williams will inbound it. Kelsey Howard's the leading scorer for all teams. He's got 14. UAPB again with balance. Nine points for Lazavian Jackson and Mitch Anderson. And eight for Terrell Kennedy. Kennedy also, Kennedy also, along with those eight points, has six rebounds and four blocked shots. As Kelsey Howard, who is red hot in the first half, he misses a three to start the second half. And UAPB has the rebound. Leading by four, first possession of the second half. Down low, it'll turn around from eight feet out. No good by Davon Haynes. Had a good look at it and missed it. Williams, top of the key here. Right side to Philip Williams. Now Lewis has it. Lewis down low to Reedus. Reedus, good move off the glass and scores inside. 35-33. Two-point lead for UAPB. Hammond with the basketball, left side. Top of the key, pull up. Jackson for three, off to the left, no good. He's kind of fading to the left there when he shot it. <laughs> Down low to Reedus, picked up by Broughton, turn around. Jumper, no good. Kennedy the rebound, they'll kick it ahead. Hammond in transition, pull-up jumper is good, and it's a three. The pull-up three for Tevin Hammond is good. He's got seven now in the game. UAPB leads 38-33. 18-15 to go, just underway second half. Taking their time are the Tigers of Jackson. Right side. Now top of the key to Lewis. Lewis, nice dribble in the lane, lost control on the way up, but he will draw the foul. Two shots coming up here for John Lewis, senior from Jackson, Mississippi. One of three players from Jackson, Mississippi on this Jackson State team. Jackson usually a very Highly recruited area in many sports. <clears throat> Lewis makes both free throws. Cuts the lead down to three. 38-35, UAPB leading by a triple. Just over two minutes into the second half here. Yeah. 
Kennedy with the basketball. He'll take the drive, the kick out. Lasavian Jackson for three. Yes, sir. Jackson is hot tonight. Lasavian Jackson now with his fourth three. He's now four of eight from downtown. A steal, good hands by Jackson. Great all around player. Lasavian Jackson, the kick out. Kennedy puts it on the floor. Pull up 15 footer is good. And Terrell Kennedy, speaking of great all around players, having a great night tonight. 10 points, seven boards, four blocks. Stat sheet stuffer. And hanging and hitting, nicely done is Kelsey. Kelsey Howard. 43-37, UAPB by six with the basketball. Left side, Kennedy picked up by Christian, or Philip Williams rather. Xavier Jackson, they left him wide open and he missed it. Battle for the rebound, lost out by Lewis of Jackson State. Well, they left Jackson wide open. He was a little bit, a little bit hard on it, a little strong but you don't want to do that too often. In for Jackson State, number four, Jeff Stubbs. Jeff Stubbs back in the ball game now as Lewis will take a seat. Haynes, top of the key to Hammond. Kennedy puts it on the floor. Kennedy, the drive, the floater goes. He's got 12. That matches Lazabian Jackson with 12, the top two scores right now for UAPB. Four minutes into the second half here, 45-37 UAPB with their largest lead now at eight. Williams puts it on the floor, pull up 12 footer is good, nicely done. Hammond brings it up for Pine Bluff. Left side to Kennedy, Davon Haynes, outside of the three-point line, cross-court pass, dangerous. Jackson rise and fire, misses, too strong, battle for the rebound, tipped out of bounds by Jackson State, it's gonna stay with UAPB, but we'll have a media timeout. Golden Lions look pretty good coming out of the locker room, they lead by six, 15-37 to go in the ball game, 45-39, Golden Lions. They say that when you're facing extreme danger, your life flashes before you. <laughs> if you think that's sad, consider facing it before you even have enough life to flash before your eyes. Car crashes are a leading killer of children one to 13. Deaths and injuries can be prevented by using the right car seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to know what is appropriate for each age and size. 1537 to go in the game. 45-39, UAPB by six over Jackson State. Lasabian Jackson will inbound it. Broughton, Hammond, Haynes, and Kennedy join him on the court for the Golden Lions. Jackson to Hammond, thought about the three. Shot clock now goes, it was a little delay there. Here's Hammond, right side to Jackson, looking down low to Broughton, who's been quiet tonight. Haynes in the lane, kicks it back to Jackson. Now Broughton on the right block. Turn around, 12 footer is good, nothing but net. I said he was quiet. So he decided to make some noise. Nice play there by Broughton, lead back to eight. Tough pass in the lane. Good hands by Broughton, ball deflected. Now Howard is gonna draw the foul on UAPB. He's trying to get out of a double team. They're gonna call a block. 47-39, UAPB by eight. Jackson. 
On Lazavian, that's his first, team foul number two. Had to wipe up some sweat on the floor. To get our camera crew here in a minute to get a look at George Ivory's suit coat tonight. We've got that gold suit coat on here on senior night. It's pretty impressive, to say the least. Christian Williams, left side. Now they'll work it to Kelsey Howard. 15 on the shot clock. Good defense here by UAPV. Stubbs picks up his dribble, needs some help in the corner to Howard. Six to shoot and a steal. It's Lazabian Jackson. The run out, the jam, and he missed it. With the rebound, Davon Haynes goes up and he's fouled as he tried to throw it down. So 14-24 to go. There's a look at George Ivory in that, that slick gold suit top. <laughs> Almost kind of look like a tuxedo top. Looking sharp as always, George Ivory. He's as entertaining as they come. Very likable players coach. Free throw is in and out, no good by Haynes. One more coming up. Haynes gets one of two. Some pressure by UAPB Hammond all over. Howard now, they'll kick it ahead. Bad pass and a turnover. So UAPB will get it back. 14-18 to play. Leading by nine, their largest lead here, 48-39. Haynes, back to Hammond. Kennedy. Broughton, turn around, jumper, no good this time. Had a good look at it, missed it. Here's Christian Williams now coming to get it. Is Kenny Smith, a freshman from Los Angeles. Kelsey Howard picked up right side by Kennedy, now left side. Smith. Nowhere to go with it here. They kick it back to Kenny Smith. He'll take the three left wing. It's an air ball taken out of the air. And UAPB on the break. It's going to be Davon Haynes, and he fell as he went up for the dunk. Let's hope he's okay. Never really got a good hand on it. Not the best of passes there, and wishes he could have that one over again. But it's going to result in a foul here on the other end. Jackson State's going to shoot a couple. Haynes never fully had it in his grasp. But rarely do you see him miss a dunk, even the difficult ones. Trent Whiting is going to check in for the first time, and along with Mosley. And Mitch Anderson. Free throws there are good. 48-41, seven-point lead. Kennedy will take the jumper and hits. Just inside the three-point line, but Kennedy's big night continues. He's got 14. UAPB back up. Stripped, good hands. Whiting to Mosley. They'll kick it ahead. Mosley, back to Hammond, now Mosley on the baseline, and Whiting gets his shot blocked out of bounds by Sidney Coleman. 12.37 to go. Reedus back in the ball game.
Right side to Hammond, now Mosley. They work it around. Kennedy, Whiting, pull up jumper is short, or a little long actually, but no good. And they're gonna have a timeout called. This one's gonna be by Coach Devester Anderson of Jackson State. We'll stay right here, 12, 13 to play. 50 to 41, UAPB leading by nine at the 12, 13 mark here. up by four at halftime. They've outscored Jackson State by five so far. Here in the second frame to lead 50 to 41 with 12-13 to go. Inbound it. Good pressure by Hammond. Howard to Reedus. Reedus almost got it stolen away there. Right side, Christian Williams. The step back, Anderson right there with him. Nearly blocks it, maybe got a piece of it. Off the side of the backboard, Reedus gets it back and he's gonna be fouled and shoot two. Willie Reedus, 6'6", 250, junior. He's a load down there. Fouls on Kennedy, and we'll step aside with immediate timeout. 11.56 remaining in the game. UAPB leads Jackson State by 9, 50-41. Quiet, please. Wait a sec. I'll take one. Oh, yeah. All right. All good. Take care. Way to go. Nice. Bring it on. Gotcha. I'm here for you. Oh, no. Please, please, please. I'm waiting. Interesting. Not buying it. Not fair. That's it. This conversation is over. Oh, brother. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. 11.56 to go. Tim Stubbs, courtside here, H.O. Clemens Arena, senior night. Our final broadcast of the season for basketball here. For the television side of things. Rita's first free throw is good, makes it 50-42, an eight-point lead for UAPB. And he's got the second, so two for Rita's. And UAPB's lead is at seven. Whiting cross-court pass to Mosley. Back to Whiting, now Mosley. Mosley will take the three, it's short, and Reedus has the rebound. Kelsey Howard, he's got it left wing, back and forth he goes with Lewis. Williams now on the baseline, Reedus gets position and scores inside, good. Half court set there by Jackson State, cuts the lead to five. Four unanswered by Ritas, he's got 10. 11 minutes to go, UAPB leads a half 100 to 45. Mitch Anderson needs some help, Kennedy driving. Baseline and he's fouled and Ritas can't believe the call as he is 
putting on an act. <laughs> Going to be the first on Reedus, team foul number two on Jackson State. Two shots here for Terrell, makes the first. Kennedy's now got 15. Jackson back in, Trent Whiting will take a seat. Right in the middle of the coaching staff and they're gonna, Coach Ivory wants to talk something over with Trent. Just a freshman, a lot of upside in Whiting's game, no question about it. 52-45 after the two free throws are good by Terrell Kennedy, UAPB by seven. 10-45 and counting. Kelsey Howard gets it up quickly to Williams and a, a throwaway, I believe. Oh, unbelievable save and a bucket. Are you kidding me? It looked like it was out of bounds, but they let him play on there and Darrell Taylor saved it from going out of bounds and threw it right to Reedus who laid it up and in all simultaneously. Impressive play if it wasn't out of bounds and they may have missed the call. It was close. UAPB by five with the ball. Here's Anderson deflected, but right to Kennedy, the kick out in the corner to Mosley now on the left, right wing rather. Back to Kennedy and they're gonna get him with a charge. That was Reedus who absorbed the contact, drew the charge. 10.08 to go. Jackson State gets it back down five. Down low, good hands that time, a steal by Kennedy, and he gets it to Hammond. Ahead, and now a turnover. Williams to Taylor, gets his shot blocked. And a very interesting call. Wow. How they called offensive foul. About to say, that was all ball by Anderson. All ball by Mitch, and they get the charge is what it was. So <laughs> student section about came unglued back behind me here on that call. They thought it was against Mitch Anderson. UAPB by five with the ball. Kennedy down low now dumps it to Mosley. He'll back it out. The three no good by Hammond. UAPB's Jackson has the rebound. Anderson was wanting the backdoor lob there. They missed him. Here is Hammond driving the kick out. Three point shot off the mark, no good by Kennedy. Another offensive rebound by Jackson going baseline and a block is gonna be on Jackson State as Hammond was flying down that left baseline there. So who they're gonna call that one on. Looks like that's gonna be on Darrell Taylor. Hammond to the line here. And he's got the first. There's another look at it. Archie Howard with the shot there on the baseline. As Terrell Hammond came flying right into his picture. One more here for Hammond. In and out, no good. So one of two, almost a steal by Mitch Anderson. They call the foul on him. That's his second. Mitch had an exciting first half with nine points, three big dunks, and a three-point basket, but a little quiet here so far in the second half. Nice little runner there by Jackson State's Christian Williams. So UAPB not able to shake Jackson State. It's a four-point lead. There's a lob, but it was way too high as Mitch was ready to throw one down, but I don't know if Blake Griffin would have got that one. 
53-49, four-point lead. Jackson just hanging around. UAPB's got to be careful here. It's Reedus. He's been active down low. Nice block. Another one by Kennedy, his fifth block of the game. They'll kick it ahead. Golden Lions need a bucket. In the corner, Mosley. Looking down low, nothing there. Mosley now, the take, the drive, the kick out in the corner. Hammond, Lazavian Jackson for three, no good. Offensive rebound by Kennedy, he missed it. And Reedus clears the board. Couple of chances there. Here on the baseline, down low, shot up off the glass. Kelsey Howard is good, and it's a two-point game. Here comes Jackson State. Golden Lions had a nine-point lead. It's been trimmed to two. 7.47 to go. Haynes and Broughton are going to have to come back in the ballgame for UAPB to give them some, some muscle inside. Jackson on the dribble. It was last touched by Jackson State. And a media timeout will step aside. It'll be Golden Lion basketball when we come back. 53-51. This game has gotten real tight. UAPB leads by two. 7.37 to play over Jackson. For those dealing with the daily struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. That's why AARP created a community with experts and other caregivers to help us better care for ourselves and the ones we love. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh I... backwards. Oh, Woo! don't. Oh, okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it goes. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. All right, let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. 7.37 to play. Lozabi and Jackson will inbound it. UAPB leads by two over Jackson State. Golden Lions haven't scored in a while. Here's Davon Haynes backing his man down. Turning, spinning, goes up with the one hand in the lane, missed it. Had a good look at it. Didn't go down. Jackson State can tie or take the lead here. Left side, Kelsey Howard, top of the key. Phillip Williams, the drive, the kick out, the 12-footer, no good by Jackson State. And an offensive rebound by Jackson. That was Kenny Dumache who just came in. The kick out for the three is good. And Christian Williams has given Jackson State a one-point lead. 54-53 with 6.50 to play. So Jackson State was once down by nine here in the second half. Now have a one-point lead. Mm. Anybody's game at this point. Here's Hammond to Lazabian Jackson. Baseline, kick out, Haynes. Jackson spots up for three. Yes, sir. That was big. They needed that. And a quick lead for Jackson State was erased by Lazabian Jackson three. 56-54, two-point advantage for the Golden Lions. Just over six minutes remaining as we're getting down to winning time here. Phillip Williams to drive, pull up 17-footer. Does not get the roll and battle for the basketball. It's going to be a tie up alternating possession to Pine Bluff. Bodies all over the floor. So UAPB will get it back up by two. Let's see if they can get back to back buckets here and try to build that lead back up. Hammond, left side to Haynes. Kennedy spots up for three, will not go. Good look at it there. Off to the left a bit, that would have been big. Still a two point lead for UAPB, 5.45 to play. Jackson State with the basketball, left side, Kelsey Howard. Pull up for the tie, got it. 
17 footer left wing Kelsey Howard and we're tied at 56 I believe. They gave him a three on the board but that was not a three point shot. The scoreboard is wrong it should be tied there we go now it's tied at 56. Hammond for three short no good battle for the rebound is going to go to Philip Williams it was tipped around and Got it back, over five to play now inside Dumachet. To Coleman, he's fouled. He'll shoot two. 5.05 to go. UAPB's falling in love with that three-point shot. They've dropped several tonight, but they've also missed a bunch too. The first on Davon Haynes and the seventh team foul. One and one the rest of the way, at least, in the bonus. First free throw is nothing but the bottom of the net by Sidney Coleman, a 6'7", 215 sophomore from Meridian, Mississippi. 5.05 to go, and he hits both of them. Coleman puts his ball club back up by two here. Jackson, two-point lead. Hammond left side, Sabian Jackson on the floor. It's going to be Haynes, the blow by, missed the layup. Some contact, no call. Couldn't get it to go. 4.44 to go, getting tight here. Kelsey Howard. The Williams boys here, Christian and Phillip, turn around, jumper off the glass, not very pretty by Dumachet. And UAPB's got it. Here's Hammond. Hammond in the lane. The kick out. Lazavian Jackson for the lead. Got it. Yes, sir, Lesavian Jackson on senior night. Having a big game, he's got 18. Hits the three to give his team a one-point lead with 4-10 to play. 59-58, it's been a good game. Kelsey Howard, he's been hot. He's got the three and he connects right in the face of Lesavian Jackson. Those two snipers have been going back and forth all night. 24 now for Kelsey Howard, and he gives his team a two-point lead. 61-59, Jackson right back, misses the three. Davon Haynes knocks two men down, gets a chance at it, and draws the foul as two blue jerseys hit the deck. Davon Haynes just kind of blew up that play on the rebound, and he'll have two free throws when we return from this media timeout. 3.43 remaining. 61-59, Jackson State leading UAPB by two. Haynes to the line when we return. Hi, my name is Danny Andre Brill II, a senior here majoring in industrial technology, management, and applied engineering. I thought that I would be looking for a job at this point, but thanks to my mentor, Dr. Charles Colin and Career Services, I was able to obtain a position as an industrial engineer upon graduation. Danny worked hard in class from the beginning, obtaining three internships while on campus. UAPB can help prepare students like Danny for those same opportunities. UAPB prepared me. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where the ember will land only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. 343 remaining, Tim Stubbs here from H.O. Clemens Arena. We got a tight one, UAPB was in control by nine, but now they're down by two. 343 to go, Haynes at the line for UAPB. They'll have two shots. First one lips out, no good. The old Lions are jacking up the threes tonight, both teams really. UAPB 8 of 26, just 31%, 8 of 17, 47% for Jackson State three-point range as Haynes hits the free throw. Jackson State with the basketball, three and a half to go, leading by one, 61-60. Driving right off the screen, Christian Williams for three is good. They continue to hit their threes. My goodness, Christian Williams 
Having a big game as well. He's got 17. That's his third three-point basket. Golden Lions down by four with just over three to play. Davon Haynes, Hammond, the kick out. Lazavian Jackson spots up for three. Yes, sir, nothing but net. And the threes continue to rain. What a game. One point game, 64-63. Lazavian Jackson now with 21. He has got seven threes in the game. Seven for 15 from downtown. My heavens. One point game, D up. Gold Lions need a stop. Phillip Williams all the way rejected big time. The shot was erased by Davon Haynes. Just smacked it off the backboard. Big time rejection and it goes out of bounds to Jackson State with eight on the shot clock. 2.33 to play. Inbound Howard for three in the corner, no good. And it's gonna be a foul on the rebound on Jackson State. Finally, Jackson State missing a three. Let's take a look maybe at that block, not sure. Nope. Lazabian Jackson, what a game. 21 points, six rebounds, four assists, no turnovers, and four steals. Hello. Big time game tonight for Lazabian Jackson, the senior. Here's Hammond, just toying with him. Hammond on the baseline to Haynes, goes up for the dunk and he got it to go. He kind of lost control of it. George Ivory telling him just hammer it down. UAPB back on top, luckily that ball stayed in the cylinder. He almost missed it. 65-64 UAPB by one. Christian Williams. Top of the key to Phillip Williams. 1.45 to play. 12 on the shot clock for Jackson. Time to D up. Christian Williams in the lane. Shot partially blocked by Haynes. And it's still loose and they're gonna have a foul with one second on the shot clock. Oh my goodness. One second on the shot clock and they're bailed out with a foul. Third on Daniel Broughton. Mitch Anderson is going to check in. And Daniel will take a seat. A one and one coming up here for Darrell Taylor, 6'5", sophomore from Morton, Mississippi. He'll try to tie it here, one and one. Got it, tied up at 65. 132 remaining, Jackson State, UAPB all tied up. Block out here if he's, he's going to miss it. He made it. Jackson State by one. Got a substitution. Taylor, who just made the shot, two free throws, comes out. And checking in, Kenny Dumachet. Here we go, 1.30 to go. Anybody's game, UAPB down by one. Hammond, the drive in the lane, the little floater, no good. Had a great look at it, missed it. And it's either gonna be a travel or a foul. They're gonna call Haynes with the reach in. With 1.17 to play and Jackson State. That's the second on Haynes and Ninth team foul on UAPB and a one and one coming up here. For Willie Reedus. First shot for Reedus is good. Jackson State by two. Golden Lions need this win. Well, they'd hate to lose both to Jackson State. Especially they had this game in control and let it slip away here and still have time to snatch it back. Reedus made both. Four free throws in a row for Jackson State. They take a three-point lead, 68-65. Just over a minute remaining. Somebody's gonna have to make a play. 
Zabian Jackson in the corner for the tie, missed it. Battle for the rebound, and they're going to call a foul on Kennedy. That's the fourth on Terrell. 103 to go. Back to the line. Jackson State. And it's going to be Christian Williams. He's had a big game. And now the officials talking something over. Trying to, it's going to be a two shot foul. I believe it's, it's double bonus. They're trying to see who the foul or who got fouled. Christian Williams is trying to go to the line, but they thought it was Dumashit that got fouled, or George Ivory did. So Christian Williams, the better shooter, is going to go to the line here for two shots. He makes the first. It's a four-point lead, now two possession by Jackson State, making their free throws. That's five in a row here in the last minute and a half. Got them both. Six free throws in a row for Jackson State. They lead by five. One minute remaining. Here's Hammond. UAPB is going to have to do something here. Down low. Big dunk and one. Davon Haynes went up strong with two hands and smashed it down. Big time. And draws the foul and need to make this free throw right here. This would be big. Well, he went up with authority. Two hand smash by Davon Haynes. Really need this one. 54 seconds left. Could cut it to two. Got it. 70-68, two-point game. 52 seconds in counting. Philip Williams. Kelsey Howard. They almost had a walk right there. No call. No need to foul here. 20 on the shot clock. About an 18-second differential on the game clock. 35, now counting on the game clock. 15. Now 11 to shoot on the shot clock. Williams, top of the key, Christian Williams for three, no good. Big rebound, Mitch Anderson. 18 seconds left, UAPB can tie it. Haynes to Hammond. Mitch Anderson, the drive, and they're going to wave off the basket. It would have been an and one, but they wave it off. They're going to say the foul was on the floor, and it's going to be a one and one. George Ivory was wanting the continuation. But they're going to say a one and one. Mitch Anderson was looking for the for the and one there, but with nine seconds left, he's going to go to the line for a one and one, a chance to tie with two free throws. But they wave off the basket and say the foul was on the floor before the shot. It was close. It was questionable. Could have went either way. In the NBA, it's a no doubter and one. Mm, mm, mm. Big shot here, the first one and one. And he missed. UAPD has got it back. And a foul by Williams. You, the crowd responding to the three, but it happened way after the whistle. 5.8 seconds left. And it's going to be Lazabian Jackson. Jackson, another one and one here as he was fouled after the rebound. Needs the first one to have a chance at the second one. First shot for Jackson is good. 5.8 seconds left, 70 to 69. Jackson has one more free throw here, a chance to tie the game. Boy, this is pressure. The senior, Lasabian Jackson. Got it. Nothing but net. That is a cool customer right there. Timeout to Vester Anderson for Jackson State. They had a five-point lead with a minute to go. 
And UAPB has snatched it back. We're tied at 70 with 5.8 seconds left. Jackson State a chance to win it. The Golden Lions are interested in overtime. What a game. What a game. Mm-mm-mm. Lazavian Jackson with ice water in his veins, having a ball game tonight from Eufaula, Alabama at a Shelton State Community College. He's got 23 in the game, does the senior. He's hit seven threes, but none bigger than the two free throws he just hit with 5.8 seconds left to tie the game at 70. Student section behind us. Dancing around, having a blast here tonight, <laughs> as always. So we'll see what Jackson State wants to set up here. They call it a full timeout. You don't want to foul for sure. You get two shots no matter what it is. You just fear there's been so many fouls called tonight, you don't want to see the officials end up deciding the factor of this game. UAPB is not going to apply pressure until mid court it looks like. The inbounder is going to be Lewis, John Lewis. 5.8 seconds left, tied at 70. Jackson State will inbound it underneath the UAPB basket. And almost a steal, and it is a steal. Hammond for the win. Yes! Hammond hits it with one second left. Are you kidding me? There's still one second left, and they've stormed the court. They've got to get off the court. Get off the court. Get off the court. One second left. And the student section has flooded the court, but there's one second could result in a technical. The students are still on the court. Oh my goodness, the police have had to come out. It's just, just, it's just crazy. There's popcorn on the court, oh my gosh. UAPB stole the inbound, and Hammond hit the three was hoping it would be at the buzzer, but there's one second left, and the Golden Lions lead 73 to 70. But there may be a possible, somebody's lost a cell phone on the court. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're talking about a crazy finish. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Absolutely just pandemonium here on the sideline. I'm telling you, these students just bum rushed the, the court here and not realizing there was one second left and there was popcorn on the floor. Somebody lost a cell phone. I mean, it just turned into just chaos. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. That's, I guess that's the way you want to close out your senior night but I hope this doesn't result in a technical foul on UAPB. I know that's what Jackson is wanting. <laughs> one second left, absolutely nuts here, the finish of this one. This one may take the cake for me. I've called a lot of games here at UAPB. I've seen a 35-footer go in at the buzzer for Marcel Goins to send it to overtime, then they end up beating Texas Southern. That was one for the ages, but this one right here, may take it. This has been just crazy as they get. They're, the officials are talking it over. I'm afraid it's going to result in a technical. But there's just one second left. And it is. Yep, it's going to be on the fans for running on the court. A technical foul is called. With one second left. My goodness. Free throw is good by Christian Williams. Cuts it to two. They get the ball back as well, so they can have one final shot with one second left. He made both free throws, so it's a 73-72 lead, but they will have to inbound it all the way here on the other end of the court with one second left. One second remaining. Jackson State will inbound it. Do not foul, whatever you do. Make them have to shoot it from half court or so for the win. 
Lewis trying to throw it deep. Oh, he stepped over the line. They missed it from half court. No good, and that's a winner. UAPB wins it. Now the student section storms the court for the second time. Have you ever seen a student section storm the court twice? Well, it just happened. 73-72, the Golden Lions win it. Now we got a Greek show that's breaking out over here as well. <laughs> uh, a lot of fun tonight. Way to close out the final home game, and UAPB wins a flat-out thriller, folks. 73-72, the game winner was by Tevin Hammond. Stole the inbound and hit a three with one second left. And then there was a technical foul called on the UAPB student section for storming the court prematurely. But after Christian Williams made both free throws, the half court shot was no good by Jackson State and the Golden Lions win just a classic 73-72. My, oh my, oh my. Special thanks KUAP studio tonight. Finley Hill and Princess Davis. Our crew did a great job tonight. Got some good shots. Randy Kelly, Shelly Roby Ingram, Devin Killingsworth Wells, Spencer Braddix. Both of those young men are seniors. And Brandon Miner and Archie Howard underneath the goals tonight did a great job as well. Well, I'm exhausted, folks. I'm going to sign off now saying so long. A classic here tonight. 73 72 UAPB wins it. They improved to 14 and 3. Still in the hunt for the regular season championship as they knock off Jackson State by one in a thriller. Final score 73 72 UAPB wins it by one over Jackson. Signing off, Tim Stubbs saying so long. Good night. <laughs>